Yo, 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 YouTube, as you saw in my card show video, uh, I picked up quite a few cards there. Um, some just out of a great value boxes. Some were, um, I, you know, I spent more money on as investments and so forth. So I want to go over what I got and uh, we can iron out what we paid for it. So I paid $136 for all of these cards. That includes the ones that, like I said, I bought as individual cards and it includes all the ones that I bought in um, bulk buys. So the first cards I'm going to go through are generally cards that I got at a dealer for out of the uh, 50 cent box. It was 50 cents or five for two bucks, I think it was. Um, and then I made an offer to get that price down even further. So let's take a look at those. I'm so excited. All right, so essentially what I paid for these was about 33 cents a card because they were down to 50 cents, but then you got five for $2, which makes them 44 cents, I believe. Uh, I don't know, something, something in there, that's the math. And then I made an offer to get a slightly better deal. So I ended up paying a little probably a little under 33 cents per card. Um, but most of them were top loaded. I did de top load them because when I'm storing them for sale, I mean, they will all be sleeved. So as you can see, some aren't sleeved. Um, so I'll be doing that, but it's easier for me to store them sleeved than with top loads. They'll be in the drawers nice and safe and fireproofed. And then I just pile up the top loads over here. I use those for shipping. So as you can see, I got quite a few. Um, so if I paid 33 cents a card and they were sleeved, which are of course a penny and the top loads are about a quarter a piece um, based on the increased price in supplies. So essentially I got these cards for about eight cents a piece uh, if you take the supply price out of it. So extremely good deal. Um, some really nice stuff. So let's take a look. The first one I've got here is a Prism, Draft Picks, Peyton Manning. It's nice and refractor, shiny there. Got a Glaber Torres, Topps Chrome, rookie. Uh, 2008, Topps Chrome, Manning Pro Bowl. Trying to expand and add some other players. There was some Trout stuff in there. So I thought, why not? That would be a great player to hold a few cards of. So I got this Trout. Um, Christmas Tops, Trout Bowman, I got a p couple of Pete Alonzo Tops Chrome Rookies, again remember for 33 cents before top loader discount, 8 cents um, if you remove the top loader price, this, this was kind of a no brainer on all these cards. Contenders, Charles Woodson and Tom Brady. Uh, here's a captains. So I bought every Tom Brady I could get as I normally do in those discount boxes. So yes, I, bu I bought some low end score stuff and things like that, but um, those things do sell some of them. So if you get a couple bucks a piece for them and you're paying eight cents, it's still a good deal. There's a score couple of these franchise score inserts just sold a gold one of these for like eight bucks um, here's another score the earlier the Tom Brady cards kind of the better but here's a Donruss couple of these prism draft picks not the prism version just the base but in the Michigan uniform Fantasy Stars out of score. Base Donruss. Bucks uniform. Bucks cards do well. Legacy. Here's an Elite. Bunch of these Absolutes. I think there's five or six of them. It's another Trout. This is the base tops. And then there's the All-Star Game one. 
pretty cool picture. Picked up some LeBrons. Again, at that price, can't really go wrong on these superstars. I think this one's actually an might be a parallel. It's purple on the logo. I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that. This Panini. There's a highlight reel out of Prestige. I think that's an insert. Yep. Picked up some low end inserts, captains. In 2019 Prestige. Here's another one of those Refractor or Prism Peyton Manning Draft Picks cards. A Chris Bryant rookie. This is more for my PC. It's well centered. Corners are sharp. Edges look good. So, uh, for again, for $0.08, cents, I think I'll keep that one. I'm a big Cubs fan. I'll throw that aside. We got some home stuff. Lasting Legacies. Uh, contenders out of 18. So this is a second year card. Now, second year cards on Mahomes don't really matter yet because he was a rookie in 17. But as his rookies continue to climb, second year cards will become, um, you know, in, in great demand. I wasn't going to start to add Mahomes stuff yet, but at this price, I couldn't pass it up. And I've got a pretty good pile of Brady stuff. Now, so adding another player, Patrick Mahomes is the one that makes sense to me. Um, might not be bad, bad timing for that, especially again for the, the cheap price I got these for. Aspire, I don't even know what that is. It's out of Sage. Cool looking card. Classics throwback. It's another Elite. Here's a Panini. I think this one is Black Friday. Uh, I'm not sure when that's from. But that's one of those like Father's Day or something. Oh, this one's Black Friday, I believe. Yeah, Black Friday in 2019. Very cool. This is a cool looking card. Fan favorite. Deep Dive out of score. Pretty cool card. Got this Alec Bohm. I think this was actually in the quarter box. Uh, Alec Bohm, rookie, blue, number to four ninety nine. I, th I think he could be a stud. So, again, for just a few cents, why not? Here's a Jordan checklist art card out of ninety. Skybox? Oh no, oops. Not very centered, but I have another one of these, and mine is way more off centered than this one. So, anything Jordan for eight cents, I'm gonna buy. Kind of Ben Roethlisberger rookie card. Uh, 04 press pass. Thought that was a good deal. It's a Bowman Trout. I like this one. This is Gallery Trout. Some more Mahomes. This is Touchdown Club, and this is the Red Parallel. And LeBron NBA Hoops Premium. Mike Trout, uh, 21 Donruss. I actually think this is, I think this is a short print or an alternate photo or something. So I got to take a look at that. A couple of these rare airness or whatever they call these. Air greatness. I don't know. Air of greatness. But again, cheap Jordans. Why not? A couple of Brady MVPs. These might have actually been from another dealer, but that's okay. There's highlight reel. Insert of Mahomes. Inside the numbers. It's mostly lower end stuff, but again, for the price, easy flip. Trout, another Christmas one, or a holiday one, whatever you want to call it. A couple of these illusions. One is Brady, one is Mahomes. Recently had someone buy all of my Brady's, Illusions Brady's, so happy to add a few more of those. A couple of Reese Hoskins Tops Chrome Rookies. Thought those were a good pickup. He's having a heck of a year. 
Do the LeBron James optic insert. I mean, for essentially eight cents, whew, it's a good deal. Uh, Favre, this is the gold one. So it's the from the Green Bay Packers special edition set. 87 tops bow. This one is in really, really good shape. A little off centered, but Bo Jackson, gotta have it. The Mahomes Luminance. These might have been from another dealer too. I got a few of them mixed in. It, it, it's hard to keep everything separated when you're throwing it in a backpack at a show. But you'll get the idea. And you'll in the last video you saw where I picked them up at. I like this one. Um, centered corners aren't great, but in the uh, All Star uniform, I think it's pretty cool. Nice picture. It's from '91. So and again, that cheap. Picked it up. Don't have any Aaron stuff. And I thought this was cool as sort of a throwback looking card. Pick that up. This is really cool. This is a Japan, USA versus Japan 1990 MVP. I'm not sure if this is from like Classic or something, but 91 California cards. And it says the Wonder Child on the bottom and then in Japanese, which he was the Wonder Kid or, or Kid... I don't I don't remember exactly what his nickname was, but I've never seen that card before. A nice young photo. I think that could do pretty well. Picked up 90s Dominators, Donruss. Couple gold label. So adding a little bit of Griffey stuff. I know he's highly collected. This is the Lovero showcase photo, and I think that's part of the yeah, so that was who the artist was. This one is interesting, Fleer 93 insert, but it's the Fruit of the Loom version. You can see that on the bottom there. Zach Smith, he's a rookie this year. It's a very recent card. Autograph card for 50 cents. Why not? This is the Eternal Glory upper deck insert. Unfortunately, he, this is in a Reds uniform. I don't buy Griffey cards in reds but um sticker covered up the the hat so i didn't realize it till after it's a nice picture nice looking card um you know maybe someone will want to pick that up here's a 91 leaf uh this is a cool looking card I, I, I like this out of aurora nice insert here big show on a collector's choice nice foil Dream Team. These were these were a big deal back in the day. Nice picture of them. Nice and young. I think this was 91. Yeah, 1991. And again, at these prices, how can you how can you go wrong? Here's a score. Mahomes. Prestige Mahomes. This is another Griffey. This is nice out of the EXL. It's kind of got a frame, and he sort of. Stands out of the frame, and then there's this background photo. Cool card. Picked up this Pache. I think he's a good prospect. I liked the color combo, um, and then the frame. I, I like framed cards, the King stuff. So, pick that up. It's a rookie card, why not? LeBron James, Donruss. Playbook, LeBron. This one, Thunder and Lightning, Rogers and Jordy. So Barry Sanders, never seen this card before. I thought it was pretty cool. Almost looks like Jordan's flight card. Special edition insert. This is from the Loose collection, Walter Loose. Bought this one. This is a rookie card. It's obviously not in great condition. It's got folds in the middle. Um, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. I mean, they, even the corners aren't terrible. Centering is okay. And I thought, you know, for 33 cents or whatever, I don't have any cards from 1957. It's pretty cool to have one of those. There's a Refractor Guerrero. I actually have a few of those. I got the Acuna. Um, here's another Refractor Guerrero out of Finest. Oh, no, this is Chrome, too. Future Stars card. Having a good year, Tatis, Future Stars, Chrome, Refractor. Here's another one of those Guerrero, 
Chrome 86 cards, Refractor. Pick this up, he's having a good year, Aristides Aquino. This is the rookie, 1986 Refractor. An Epics season for um, Mahomes. Nice little insert there. Here's a Gridiron Kings. Looks good in the red. Insert there. Here's another Panini foil insert. This is um, player of this is part of the player of the day stuff, so not pack pulled, which I think is actually to its advantage. Here's a stars card. The Brady's do really well. This I'm sure Mahomes will do well. Road to Super Bowl. Here's the orange parallel from Illusions. And a mosaic. Will to win a mosaic. Come on. Will to win mosaic. A winning ticket out of contenders. Touchdown Masters. And a mosaic. I got a couple more elites coming up. Here's an elite. And lasting Legacies. Base Legacy. Couple for the ages. Insert Settle Legacy. Here's the Crusade. Prism Draft in the Texas Tech's Tech Goods. This is Austin Meadows, Topps Chrome rookie. Um, again, a guy that's having a heck of a season. I figured a couple of those at you know a quarter a piece or whatever they these come out to be. Hey, Bart Star. I collect a few Bart Star cards here and there. Got this Bonds '96 Metal. Thought it had an amazing design. It's not in perfect shape, but Barry Bonds, Fleer Metal stuff does really well. Why not? So Rookies and Stars, Base. It's another For the Ages. A couple of these uh, Prism Draft Mahomes. Collegiate Connections. I like this one because it's Baker and Mahomes together on it. It's kind of a fun card. Is it Donruss, Throwback to 99. Insert, and then a Panini sticker, which is fun. I don't buy stickers or anything, so kind of a neat little little oddball thing to pick up. And then from that same dealer, I bought a Otani Topps Chrome Rookie Update Rookie. Uh, paid twenty five for it. Thought that was a good deal. I think he's going to win MVP this year, and I think he does something that. Pretty much no other player can do with with playing both ways and playing well both ways. And I think he's kind of the Bo Jackson of this generation in the fact that he can do something other players can't. So here's a little lot I bought right before I left, if, as you saw in the video. Just a bunch of low-end Brady stuff that I could make a deal on. Prestige. Contenders. Rookies and Stars, Contenders, a couple of winning tickets. One is the Red Parallel, and then these are box cards. In fact, I just sold one of the base ones this morning for five bucks. So I'm going to add one of those back into inventory. Here's the MVP, but this is also the red version, and it looks amazing with the box uniform. I think that could do pretty well. A couple of base Contenders. And then a couple of got game mosaics. Three of those. So some nice Brady stuff there. Then um, from another dealer, I hit his dollar box, picked out a few things. I found three optic Brady's. Obviously, I negotiated and got a little better price. I think I had 19 cards and I got them for 15 bucks or something like that. You'll see in the video, in the last video. Um, Brady playoff box bunch of 2017 absolutes 
Any 2017 cards are pretty good to buy because the packs are just ridiculous with Mahomes being in it. Uh, here's an early score. Another score. May sound silly, but score stuff does sell. Rookies and Stars, that's a red parallel precision, precision passer. Here's a on another level, Rookies and Stars insert. That one's red too, though. I don't know. Maybe that's not a parallel. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Here's a playoff. And then I bought two Jordan Love rookies. I got a Rookies and Stars and an Illusions. I think Illusions cards are underrated. Um, and I like them, so I bought threw a couple of those in. And then I bought a single from them for 25 This is Weston McKenney. Um, it's his Topps Chrome uh, Premier League rookie. I have a complete set of this year's, that 2019 Topps Chrome, but um, I wanted to buy this as an investment, and sales yesterday were $40 on this card, so I thought at $20, bucks, uh, it was a pretty good buy. It's a neat picture. I think he's going to make a heck of an impact on the uh, World Cup for Team USA, and uh, as I mentioned in the intro to my show video, he was something I was, somebody I was looking to pick up, so I was happy to get a, a nice card of him for a fair price. So those are my show pickups. Let me know what you think. Put a comment down below. Uh, please like, subscribe, ring the bell if you want future notifications of videos. Um, otherwise, I will see you again soon.